This is definitely one of a kind. It's one that I don't think could ever be repeated. They are as tough as the steel they grapple with by hand, performing a challenging and potentially dangerous task. Steel workers removing literal tons of beams in reverse of the way they were installed in the Salt Lake Temple two and a half years ago. Replacing and installing the beams was a pretty delicate process. Girders that played a crucial role in the seismic upgrade of the Salt Lake Temple. It's been uh, kind of a long journey to get us here. These huge beams temporarily kept the fourth and fifth floors of the temple in place while construction to retrofit the seismic upgrade system happened on the floors below. There is some really old iron inside of there that had to be re-supported. We were attempting to keep the building standing while also removing portions of the building that allowed it to stand for over 100 years. But I don't know another building but this old that will probably get retrofitted to this magnitude. The solution, a specially engineered hydraulic system consisting of 50,000 ton jacks and hydraulic manifold stations installed on the beams to support the floors during construction. We took the weight that was bearing on the historic pioneer walls and transferred it to the temporary steel system, both pushing and pulling from below and pushing up to take that load and continue our process. Lasers assisted in showing any discrepancy or shift in the elevation level. The system was monitored weekly and hand adjusted if needed. We didn't get uh, as much as an eighth of an inch of, of settle or, or sag in anything, so kind of stayed right where it was originally at. The unique structure requires unique solutions to challenges that we faced. The team came together and created that solution and it's truly a, a modern marvel of engineering. Once the retrofitting was complete. The process of removing the beams started with a lot of planning organization and keeping everybody safe. That's why we did it at night. While the rest of the city slept. More than a dozen steel workers were hard at work removing steel gusset plates from 36 inch tall beams, each section weighing in at 10,000 pounds each. And then if we did put some of those connection splice plates on there, you could be upwards of 13,000 pounds coming across a wood floor. The combined weight of all the steel used to support the floors is over 200,000 pounds. Pond says welding would have been faster, but not worth the risk. To avoid the risk of fire, we used splice plates and bolts in lieu of welding. Although it did take longer, it was a safer and better option. Moving the tonnage of steel beams was its own challenge. Steel pipes were used to roll the beams, and gentry cranes were used to hoist and move them, which demands synchronized teamwork. On a project chuck full of difficult tasks, possibly the ultimate challenge when it comes to removing 10,000 pound beams from such a historic structure, pushing them through the iconic oval fourth floor windows. Because our windows were very small to slide them out. Any overweight in the beam side or the crane side, it could hit the windows, damage the granite. It was pretty tight. Connecting beams served as counterweights, so the extracted steel could be lowered safely by crane. The most challenging was trying to protect the windows, making sure that the beams go out square and flat. Steel workers, they're tough, at times having to use brute strength, other times finesse that makes all the difference in protecting a sacred structure like the Salt Lake Temple and most importantly, staying safe while making such a historic contribution. There's no other job like it out there that we'll ever see again in my lifetime. This is easily the most challenging job I've had in my career so far and will probably have throughout my career. But it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that I could not pass up and I'm grateful for daily. When I walk out of this building, head high, feel like I've accomplished probably something in my life that uh, never would have had the chance to. If I hadn't been part of it, it's going to be pretty dang tough to talk.